Welcome to this week's edition of the Thomas Index Report. With peak shipping season fast approaching, somewhat earlier than expected this year, distribution networks are getting more congested than ever. While operators added millions of shipping boxes to their global operations during the pandemic, this additional capacity is now getting stuck in ports and sometimes even exacerbating the problem. 12% of the world's container ships are backed up at ports for longer than normal, with the average wait time at ports surging to record levels. Delays at the ports in Los Angeles and Long Beach, California hit almost 10 days in April, the highest wait times since July 2021. This is leading some shippers to shift operations to the east coast of the U.S. in an effort to avoid the now well-known delays out west. Delays are also affecting foreign ports, with congestion levels at ports in China increasing 30 to 40 percent in the last two months. One of the main causes of these delays is the operation of ships at less than full capacity. When ships operate at only partial capacity, more ships are needed to move the same volume of cargo, which leads to loading and unloading delays, among other challenges. On the thomasnet.com platform, demand for shipping boxes is up 77% over last quarter averages and 260% year over year. Related demand for shipping containers is up 86% over Q1 numbers and up 60% year over year. Finally, sourcing for shipping services is up a massive 310% over Q1 figures and 158% over 2021 numbers. To address these lingering supply chain challenges, it was announced earlier this month that retired General Stephen Lyon will become the next U.S. Port and Supply Chain Envoy. Following his 36 years of military experience and recent post as a commander of the U.S. Transportation Command, he will be tasked with easing freight bottlenecks and supply chain disruptions. He is the second person to hold the envoy position. I'm Sean Fitzgerald. And this is the Thomas Index Report.